please if you feel me help me sing it out what's up y'all <laughs> so i know y'all just saw that date at the bottom and you like girl what the hell happened y'all <laughs> it has been a week okay a very trying week and this is exactly why i wanted to do this series because i feel like when nurses talk about traveling like they talk about all the good things that they don't share like the trials and the things um that you that happen that you gotta overcome and you know figure out i wanted to you know share the raw honest truth with y'all so I am in another state. Let me take my seatbelt off. I'm in another state. I'm in Florida to be exact. I'm not going to tell y'all. Y'all see the palm trees? See the palm tree in the back? I'm not going to tell you exactly where I'm at in Florida. The facility that I'm working for has a very strict social media policy. And so obviously i'm not gonna violate their policy so once i leave my contract is done over i'm left like i will share like the details of the assignment with y'all but um yeah actually these videos probably won't even come out until i'm i ain't even say probably these videos will not even come out until this assignment is over and i'm back at home so that's just for safety reasons but yeah so, <laughs> I'm in Florida, and um, this week has been rough, y'all. So, I came here, and I did not take the free housing, well, not free housing, but I didn't take the housing from my company because when they sent me over the pay package um, with the housing, it was significantly less. So I decided to take the stipend and find my own housing. And y'all, I am regretting that because where the hospital is that I, well, yeah, where the hospital is that I'm working at, it's in the downtown of the city that I'm in, in Florida. It's very expensive, y'all. Like, very expensive. I feel like it is more expensive to live here than it is in Atlanta. I have not been able to find affordable housing in a, in a safe neighborhood at all like it has been so difficult for me so um i wrote my travel company to see like if i could change my mind but i've already signed a contract so the answer is no they did send me over some housing options which i will look over once i get upstairs um but for right now i did find a nice hotel that i've been staying in it has like a little kitchen there i showed y'all that actually so y'all saw the hotel i'm staying in however this hotel is very expensive okay like super expensive so i'm trying to get out of here as soon as i can but obviously my safety is number one like i'm not just gonna leave to go somewhere and i'm not safe like my safety is number one so i'm working hard <laughs> to find housing the other thing is i came down here right before the holidays christmas is next weekend <laughs> like so <laughs> that's another reason why I, i'm trying to find somewhere to go quick fast and in a hurry because the hotel that i'm staying at wants to charge me so much money for the christmas weekend and so I'm trying to find somewhere to go. Yeah. So tomorrow, that's what I'll be doing. Um, I actually, today, I came across this website that does corporate housing. And so um, they have apartments that's 
you know, everything all included, unless the parking isn't free. So um, there were two apartments on there that I'm actually interested in. So um, they give you the full address. So I'm gonna ride by there to see like what the neighborhood looks like and all of that. And um, yeah, if it's nice, the pictures of the apartments look very nice. So, but if the neighborhood looks nice and in a safe area, then I will move forward with that. Y'all, I never expected this. I thought I found some place. So there's this website called Furnish Finders and it's for travel nurses. However, these places is like very similar to an Airbnb. So um, you get on there, you see if they're available. So I got on Furnish Finders and um you could put like a profile on there out or whatever so this person like wrote me a message and was just saying like they have a new rental and this and that and they were just talking about themselves this whole thing is stressing me out so let me say that first like i've been stressed okay not being able to find like stress this has never happened to me but also I've never been anywhere so I've never been anywhere where I had to like find so the first time I did a travel assignment the first two assignments I did was in Northern Virginia so I was only two hours away from my home so what I did was I just used to drive up I got a hotel and actually the hotel that I said that was very close to the hospital that I worked at and they gave um, discounts to travelers because they had traveler a lot of travelers there and so this kind of so I would ride up stay at the hotel um, they agreed to give me box scheduling so I would stay at the hotel for the three days that I worked I would check out on my I would go take a nap because I worked at night and then I would check out at like one o'clock and then I would head home and I would do that every week every week until my last um, week so my third um, travel assignment was in Charlotte North Carolina so when I went to Charlotte North Carolina I actually took the housing from the company because the money was good um, with or without the housing so I took the housing it was nice it was in a nice neighborhood they gave me the furniture all of that and I told you guys before that you know they didn't have everything I needed but most of the stuff that I needed was in there so it was it was easy and then the my fourth assignment I actually was there for a whole year because I kept extending and that was in Atlanta so I had family in the area that I was able to stay with until I found my a place to rent and I was there um I was at that for a whole year so then after that you know I just decided I was gonna stay and then you know it was a whole another game plan but yeah I never had this happen every time I've ever talked to a traveler about you know them going somewhere and finding somewhere to stay they always made it seem like it was just so easy like oh yeah it's easy you just do the xyz y'all did not anticipate me having this much um trouble finding housing so yeah, I just wanted to share that with y'all. Um, I'm still on the hunt. I'm still on the look. So I will take y'all with me tomorrow when I go to um, look at these two apartments that I found on the um, Corporate Housing website. And I will share the website down below um, so that if anybody ever finds themselves in a situation similar to mine, you can look on this website and see if you find something so the next thing that happened y'all was so today was my orientation week on monday i started um i did just because you're a traveler does not exclude you from the hospital orientation you still have to do the hospital orientation even though you're a traveler and you're only there for a short time you still got to do it so my orientation on monday started at 6 45 it was 
you know, just all the hospital stuff. And then they also did um, a charting class. So here they use Cerner. So they did a Cerner charting class. Um, we had to do, we had to validate our BLS skills, which I've never done that before, but that was a requirement for them. So we had to do that. We had to do the glucometer training so that we could get access to the glucometer. And um, we had to take a telemetry test, which I told y'all about. I was super stressed about that too. I really stressed myself out about that because I know how to look at it. I used to work on the telly floor when I was a new grad. I worked on the telly floor. So we did an intense telly um, class and I had to read my patient's telly strips every two hours and then after that i went to the er so we had we did frequent ekgs we had patients on the monitor all of that so i used to read telly all the time it was second nature but now like i you know since i've been um working in urgent care i don't really have to read telly like that unless we have a patient that comes in having chest pain and we you know i would look at the ekg to see like if was it abnormal there'd be a I think there was like one or two times I had a patient at SVT and I've had, you know, patients with um, STEMIs before. Um, and that's very easy to recognize on EKG. But I haven't had like this, this tele test or arrhythmia test that they had us do is something I ain't never seen. Like I have never seen a telemetry test like this for nurses. Like it was, I ain't gonna say it was crazy, but it was like, it was hard, y'all. It was hard. And I had studied um, the night before, but like, I hate when they give you a study guide and the study guide that they, they, they give you don't match with the test that they give you. So the study guide that they gave us wanted like, they wanted you to give them the heart rate, give them the PR interval, give them the uh, ST, um, like all of this like detailed stuff. And then when we get the test, they was just like, oh no, like we just want y'all to read the strips and be able to tell us like what's on the strips. Tell us what rhythm is on the strips. So now I done studied all this. And all you wanted was for me to identify the rhythm. So now I'm already stressed out, ma'am. So now I got all this extra stuff in my head that I didn't need. Okay? Because who I ain't measured a PR interval since I was in nursing school. Okay? I don't sit there and be like, oh, you know, even when I worked on telly, I would be like, oh, the PR interval is prolonged if I had something going on with a patient or whatever. But I wasn't telling them the PR interval is 0.36. Like, no. Dang. I was so stressed about that test, y'all. But I passed it, needless to say. Um, but anyways, needless to say, after all of that was over, I had to walk over to the unit that I'm working on. And I was only there for like an hour. And then I left. Then I walked back and I left. So, needless to say, I worked like 10 hours, almost 10 hours on Monday. So then I worked Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So Thursday, there was a patient that came in late. They came Thursday, they came Wednesday and Thursday. So I was there for that. Um, so that put me over time and then I worked today too. So that put me over in overtime basically. So the manager basically was trying to like bully me into taking back my overtime and I was like no like you're gonna pay me so I say this to say whether you're a traveler or you a regular like you deserve to get paid for your time we not working out here for free and he was like well I asked so and so yesterday if she knew because that if you stayed like you wasn't gonna get paid like you ask so and so you ain't ask me because I would have told you, I don't work for free. 
that that ain't what i do so i need to get paid for that like so the, the manager basically was trying to bully me into changing my time so that's the other thing like because this week i could not clock in at all i just been able to start clocking in yesterday i just found that out but yesterday was thursday so it was no point of me starting to clock in at the end of the week so anyways i did a time sheet and he had to um, and the manager had to sign off on the timesheet. So basically, he was trying to bully me into changing the timesheet. And the other thing is, the other thing is, I'm um, in Florida. I didn't know that the nurses in Florida are unionized. So because they're unionized, they get appropriate break. They get an hour break, y'all. An hour break. An hour break. I did not know that. I just found that out yesterday. So I had been taking 30 minute lunches because I didn't know that I was supposed to take a one hour lunch. Nobody told me that. I just found that out yesterday. So yesterday I took an hour lunch and today I took an hour lunch. Um. So yeah, the manager basically was trying to bully me into changing my time sheet to say that I worked 40 hours when I didn't, when I worked 41.42 hours. I worked 41 hours and 42 minutes. So I wanna get paid for 41 hours and 42 minutes. And I get where he was coming from because travelers already cost a lot of money. And then when, you, when a traveler goes into overtime or works overtime, it's a lot of money. But you need to be clear with me. I said, I understand. And I'm telling you right now, I understand where you're coming from. And from this point forward, I will be very strict on my time. So I will make sure that I'm here and I get out on time every day. That all my stuff is wrapped up and I'm out by the time that I'm supposed to be out every day. But you're going to pay me for my 41 hours and 42 minutes. He's like, well, I don't know if I'm going to get this approved. But you're going to pay me for my 41 hours and 42 minutes because I'm going to submit this to my company. And if you have a problem, then you could take it up with them. But I'm going to get paid for my 41 hours and 42 minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all of it. And yeah, so I just say that to say, like, yeah, don't let nobody bully you out of your time. Like, if you worked a little bit of overtime, they need to pay you, whether you're a traveler, you staff, whatever. Like, they need to pay you for your time. Like, I was like really off. Like they should have told us that in orientation that you get a one hour um, break. If you work eight hours, you get a one hour break. If you work 12 hours, you get an hour and 30 minute break. Like I come from a state where you get 30 minutes. If that, you may or may not get, get that. I don't know. So yeah, um, don't let nobody bully y'all out of y'all time period you a traveler you regular staff whatever don't let nobody bully you out of your time you get you deserve to get paid for the work that you do period there ain't no if ands or buts about it so i'm submitting he eventually like we was like kind of not going back and forth because there was i was i'm not gonna argue with you sir like no i'm not changing the time sheet so you either gonna sign it or you not and if you're not going to sign it, you think I'm not going to get paid, like, then I'll just uh, email my company and let them know that you refuse to sign my time sheet. And then we could just go from there because I could just go. Like, I'm a traveler. I could find another. Like, I'm already stressed out because I can't find housing. So, if you feel like you don't want me here no more, let me know. They still going to pay me my 41 hours and 42 minutes for this week because i worked mm -hmm, yeah and um i could go somewhere else okay and find me an assignment somewhere else that's more convenient for me stop playing with me Whew. but anyways y'all i'm about to get about this car I need to go feed pickles i'm gonna walk him and then I'm gonna just chill and relax for the rest of the night. Um, and then tomorrow I'm gonna get up and yeah, I'll see y'all tomorrow. <laughs> hey y'all. <laughs> so it's Saturday and I'm feeling better today. Yesterday, yeah, as y'all saw the last clip, your girl was a little a little annoyed.
um but yeah it's saturday um i got up this morning did my morning routine and now i'm gonna head out it's 11 a.m i'm about to go by these apartments that i found and hopefully it's nice it's in a nice area but we're gonna go check that out i need my eyebrows done as y'all can see i did not have time to get them done before i left um and now they look bad i'm really kind of scared about this i really don't be letting any everybody touch my eyebrows i got one lady that i let thread my eyebrows and then i have another lady who does my microblading um but it's just I, I feel like it is time for a touch up on this side this side is doing pretty good but um so yeah this is gonna be interesting i found an eyebrow place um i do need to go to like target um and this will be the third time i've been to target this week because i need to make a list of stuff that i need instead of just thinking that I'm gonna remember in my head. I keep doing it and now this is the third time I need to go to Target, but I need to wash my clothes. So I need to get some stuff for laundry and I need some more cocoa butter. I actually really need to go to Bath and Body Works. That's what I really need to do. Um, I need, well, I need to do that as well, but I need to get some more cocoa butter and I need to go grocery shopping for the week as well um but i'm off tomorrow too so i'm probably gonna do all of that today i want to find a gym and see if maybe i could get like a two-day pass or something like that because i really feel like the gym will help with my mood and i really want to work out i want to lift some weights and just continue with the um with my workout app so i found a gym nearby so i'm gonna try that out and see how that goes so yeah y'all i'm gonna take y'all along with me show y'all the apartment show y'all the area so yeah i'll see y'all when we get to the apartment okay yeah i really feel like i'm in the twilight zone like are they serious they dead ass was gonna charge me twenty seven hundred dollars a month for this no it's not even worth me getting out my car to go into the um police office it's, it's an expert. so back to the drawing board i go and i'm about to head and get my eyebrows done like yeah no y'all so I was trying to go get my eyebrows done and I stumbled upon a Costco. So I went in there and I got some stuff. I found some protein shakes. I got some more water. Mm. I got some popcorn to just snack on. And they're having a potluck where I'm working. So this week, so I just bought some cookies cause I'm not, I can't cook anything for that and i got some scrub daddy um sponges that i can use to wash dishes i was going to go get my eyebrows done but the place that it's in is like this kind of like mall kind of thing it was so congested over there couldn't find parking i just got frustrated so i was just like whatever i just pulled off i just pulled out so i'm um, actually i came over here to go to the gym but this is a shopping center as well and y'all look oh no not that not the humana building <laughs> but i told y'all earlier i need to go to bath and body Works, and there's one over here and there's also a pet smart over here because i need i've been giving my dog these like chiller bars or whatever like and they're been helping him with his anxiety so he doesn't have this huge separation anxiety he's not barking as much as he normally does and he's just calmer and not stressed 
So I'm gonna go to PetSmart and get him some more like calming treats to just help him with his anxiety. And then I'm gonna go to the gym. And then when I leave the gym, there's a Publix over here. So I'm gonna go to that Publix and get some groceries for the week. So it worked out that I came over here because literally everything I need to do is right here. So yeah, I'm about to run in Bath and Body Works and well, I'm about to run these errands and I will see you guys when I get back to the hotel. Hey y'all. <laughs> so I know y'all wondering what the heck happened to me y'all. So yesterday I think I told y'all I was gonna go to the gym. I was running those errands and then I was gonna go to the gym. However, y'all, I got to the gym and realized that I needed like a lock to put on the locker because I had my purse with me with all my stuff. So I went to a big lot to try to get me a lock and y'all, they didn't have none. And I was just so irritated at that point. Like I just came back. I just got some laundry stuff out of, um, big lights and I just came back to the hotel room um I walked pickles and we just kind of chilled I did wash a little bit of clothes that I had um yesterday that needed to be clean so I really needed to wash my uniform so that's why I did it but yep I washed and dried those clothes and I kind of chilled and then later late last night I got on live with one of my friends on IG for a little bit and that was it and then after that one of my other friends called me I talked to her for a little bit and then that was it I went to bed and now I'm up I then did my morning routine I'm actually gonna put some moisturizer on my face because the sun be beaming here and yeah, some SPF. Y'all, I really wanna go home for Christmas. <laughs> I really do. Um, I think because things aren't going my way, I'm ready to go home. I don't think I know. I'm ready to go home, so yeah. I'm really trying to fly home Friday night and then fly back on Monday because I have Monday off, so I'll fly back on Monday. Um, so I'm really trying to make that happen. And I need to get Pickles a like small pet carrier bag. Um, But, yeah, I don't know. I'll say bridge when I get to it again. So, I am gonna show y'all what I got from Bath and Body Works yesterday. I'm into like vanilla scents now. So I got this warm, warm vanilla sugar. I got the body cream and the body spray. And I got this vanilla vanilla mocha martini so i got the body cream and the body spray and then i got the winter berry wonder y'all i love this scent y'all i get this every season at christmas i get this i love this it smells so good y'all know bath and body works does the buy three get three free so that's why i got so much but i needed um the body cream because i don't have none i ran out and y'all i got this waist trainer on i got this from shape lx i can't 
kept seeing the ads on like TikTok, Instagram, and so I went ahead and got this. So this is the waist trainer that I want to use for like every day. Y'all know I have a waist trainer from Queen Resilient that I wear um, when I work out. So yeah, yeah, your girl, nice and snatched. I really feel like I'm gonna have to get like a tummy tuck or what they call a paniculectomy. Um, yeah, I really feel like that's gonna be necessary for me because I have a lot of loose skin right here in my abdominal area. And y'all, I'm sorry, if y'all hear noise in the background, it's the dishwasher. <laughs> I had some dishes. It really wasn't that much, many, but I didn't feel like washing them, so I just put them in the dishwasher. So if y'all hear the noise in the background, that's what that is. But since today is a chill day, um, I think I'm gonna just put on this more vanilla sugar. I have this vanilla musk. I got this from Amazon. One of my friends told, told me about it. Shout out to Raven. And y'all, it smells so freaking good. Oh, it smells so good. I love this vanilla musk. So I just, you know, put it on, try to make this up. Try to make this smell good. So today, um, all I really need to do today is I need to go get some locks. I actually need two. I need one for the locker at work and then one for when I go to the gym. So I'm gonna go buy some locks. And then the other thing I need to do is I need to go grocery shopping for the week so that I have to, um, so that I could prep um, meal prep some lunches for me for the week and like get some snacks so they do have a trader joe's that's really close so i believe i'm gonna go to trader joe's and i need to go to like a walmart or a target to get the lot so if one of those is close to the trader joe's then i'll do it or somewhere where I can get the lights. So I am about to put the pickles in the cage and I'm gonna head out. So I will see you guys. Probably at Trader Joe's. I think I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's. So I'll see you guys at Trader Joe's. to Trader Joe's y'all see my two bags back there and I ran into Target as well so that's it I really don't have nothing else to do there is one more thing that I want to get I couldn't find it in Target I want to get like a calendar to put up so that I could like do a little countdown I'm a visual person so yeah, but I didn't see that in there and I don't really want to go to another store. It is 2.42 and I have finished everything I need to do. So I'm going to head back to the hotel room. I'm going to walk pickles and then I'm going to start 
meal prepping for the week meal prepping my lunches so y'all i hate the way that my eyebrows look they need to be touched up so bad but i am terrified to let somebody touch my eyebrows because i've been messed up before <laughs> And yeah, they grow back, but still like, no, I don't want nobody to mess them up. I'm really trying to go home um, at the end of the week. I'm trying to go home for Christmas and then come back on Monday, but I'm having a hard time finding a flight out on Friday. I'm gonna leave Friday night and come back on Monday. I think I have like a half a tank of gas. Um, so I'm gonna try to stop and get some gas just so I don't have to worry about it during the week for me going to work and especially the area I live in. So we're staying, so I say I don't live here, but yeah. Um, I'm going to head on out and I'll see y'all when I get back to the room and I will do a haul so I can show y'all what I got. All right, y'all, I'm back in my hotel room and I'm gonna show y'all what I got from Trader Joe's and Target. So I'm gonna start with Trader Joe's. And this, so I got this bruschetta sauce and they actually was doing like some samples and they had it on like the baguette bread, but my new stomach really doesn't tolerate bread. So um, I just got it by itself, but it's Roman tomatoes with olive oil, basil, and garlic. It's really, really good. So I got some of that. Um, I got some ranch seasoning and some more cheesy seasoning. I got some mandarin orange chicken. I got some roasted potatoes with peppers and onions. And then I got this, um, I think it's a balsamic glaze. They had this on top of the, um, the bruschetta sauce and it was really good. So I got that to them together. And I love these, these are the maple, maple chicken breakfast sausage really really good so I got some of those I got some beef and broccoli I got some chicken thighs they're seasoned and fully cooked boneless and skinless I got some organic green vegetables these shrimp burgers shrimp seafood burgers they're only 90 calories for one patty i was like wow um and then i got these mini chicken tacos and i got some garlic and so yep that's it that's all i got from trader joe's now i'm gonna show y'all what i got from target My party bag. So from Target, I just got my tried and true light and fit Greek vanilla yogurt. I got these to try. These are the Lily's gummy bears. They have no sugar in them, and they're 70 calories for the whole pack. So I got these just to try. Um, I, when I got my last facial, the girl told me that I needed to add vitamin C to my regimen. So I got this Shave Moisture, um, Brighter Days Ahead Serum. It's papaya and vitamin C with yuzu lemon. So I'm gonna add that to my skin routine. And 
these are the locks that I was telling y'all that I needed. One for the gym and then one for when I go to work. And then I've been using this for a while. This is the ARC Brush Whitening Booster. And then I got some more deodorant. And that's it. That's all I got. So I'm about to put all of this stuff away. And then I'm going to start meal prepping for probably Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Um, so yeah, I'll come back and show y'all what I meal prepped. All right, y'all. So I just finished meal prepping. So I'm just going to show you what I'm going to pack for lunch tomorrow. I eat breakfast before I leave. So I, um, don't pack that. I don't think I've said it, but I'm working eight hour shifts, not 12 hour shifts. Um, so yeah, that's another reason why I don't need breakfast because I ain't there all day. <laughs> so I'm going to show you. So this is what I prepped for the next three days. Um, I have some mandarin orange chicken and then I have this veggie blend. It's like broccoli, peas, zucchini, and green beans. So that's what I'll be eating. There we go. So that's what I'll be eating for lunch. And then I've been pretty busy um, at work and not really that hungry. So I am going to pack a protein shake. So between breakfast and lunch, this will pretty much keep me full. And then I'm gonna pack a kind bar for like after lunch, end of the day. I'm gonna pack three waters. I'm gonna leave one out for in the morning. And I'll put two in my lunch box. Okay, and to go in my water in the mornings, I drink this one. This is the, I got this from Walmart. This is the peach mango green tea. And it does have um, caffeine in it. It's sugar-free. It's really, really good. I really like this. So I drink this in the morning. You know, when I'm getting up, I'm getting ready. It just gives me energy. It makes me bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, honey. <laughs> so this is what I drink. And then I'll take these two with me. I'll drink one or the other. Um, maybe, maybe not. But um, this is just a crystal light peach green tea. I don't know if y'all can see that. But yeah, that's what it is. It's the peach iced tea. I'm sorry, not peach green tea. It's the peach iced tea. And then I have this one. This is just a Walmart brand. This is the tropical strawberry mango. Low calorie. They're both low calorie, both sugar free. Now, neither one of them say i know for sure this one doesn't have any caffeine whatsoever this one doesn't say that it has caffeine in it um nowhere on it but i feel like it gives me a little boost so even though it does not say that there's any uh there's any caffeine because it's tea it might be a mental thing y'all i don't know <laughs> because it's tea i feel like it gives me like a little boost i think it's black tea so i pack those just in case if i feel like i need like a little midday pick me up then i'll drink the tea if not then i'll either just drink plain water if i feel like i want something with like flavor to it then i'll use the strawberry mango um, but it's not guaranteed. So I will leave these two out for me to mix up when I get up in the morning. And I'm going to put my little lunch bag in the refrigerator ready for me to grab and go. Okay. So this, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Thank you guys so much 
for um, following along with me. Hopefully you guys subscribe to the channel so you can continue on this adventure with me. And you know, it hasn't gone how I planned it or thought about it in my head. And so I was a little frustrated about that, but I'm gonna hang in there and you know, just keep going and just keeping my faith because I know God is with me. So yeah, um, I'm just gonna hang on in there <laughs> and keep going. Um, and y'all just continue to follow along with me. Please like the video, leave me a comment down below and yeah subscribe and like i said hit the notification bell so that you get updated when the next episode comes out y'all all right see y'all later bye